Oh, Tiger, why did you do it, man? He went on Nicki Minaj Queen Radio, and he kind of took credit for Kylie's success, but also said she could have got there on her own. But, man, Tiger's doing so well right now. I hope none of this disrupts that. I mean, he has 240 million views on taste. I mean, I knew when this when this record dropped, I was like, oh, this is... This is Tyga getting back in his bag. He has Tyga, it's Tyga and Offset, and, you know, it's climbing up the charts. I think it's like Billboard Hot 100 or something right now, but he's independent too, so more money comes to him. Empire still takes a pretty big chunk, but it's still indie. Empire's really, really uh, getting in their bag in the game right now. They got a lot of people. Uh, anyways, this is Jordan Tyler with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads to the channel, it's JordanTylerMedia at gmail.com. Okay, so we got Tyga taking, like, Nikki and Tyga weren't talking for a few years because of Truffle Butter. Uh, some, some track got leaked, uh, like a different version of the track got leaked without, um, who was, I think Nikki leaked it without Tyga on it. And then the version got leaked with Tyga on it. I forget how it worked, but it was something like that. And she blamed Tyga or Drake. She didn't know who leaked it. It caused a lot of tension among the three of them and this is now <laughs> i think nikki i love nikki man but i think she called ty obviously she called tyga to try to kind of get in between kylie and travis a little bit okay because she knows tyga dated kylie and he dated kylie when she wasn't of age yet too and tyga tyga's close to th 30 i'm pretty sure <laughs> so because I think he's over 30. I think he's 30-something right now. So it's like, and Kylie was young, <clears throat> really young. So it's like, you know, it was controversial. And then he said he gave her ideas like, oh, you should do this. You should do that. And then he gave her, he said he gave her a black voice and you need, uh, are you really, like, if you want to like take over, you need all races to mess with you. You need all cultures to mess with your product. That's obvious. I mean, we know that, but it's like uh jeez man you know like the way he was saying like i picked out colors for her stuff and everything now nikki stopped him a little bit and said wait wait, wait i'm not gonna let you do that to women da, da, da. but like are we forgetting that kylie jenner's part of the kardashians this was gonna take off regardless and she's younger than kim kim's like closer to 40 um of course kylie's gonna appeal to the kids more because she's like 20 something and once you have the kids market you got everything, man. Like, kids control fashion and products, you know? Like, you know, so it's like, I don't know if, you know, like, Tyga was with her and it made things a little more high profile, but I don't know about all that. Then she tried and said, well, what do you think about Travis? And I was like, oh, man, Nikki, why are you going there? Nikki's rocking with this Travis thing. She's focused on it. She said, what do you think about him selling sweaters? Meek Mill is about to sell Pumas for with albums. So this is the new wave. This is how the music industry is moving. Okay, uh, Nikki's even uh, you know, I'm, Nikki had to even sell merch now with albums because Travis was doing it. And I don't someone a Universal or Republic or whatever she's a part of. They should have thought about that because I guess this is the new wave. Uh, you know, Tag even mentioned that Prince used to do stuff like that. But I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about Tyga taking credit for Kylie's, part of Kylie's success? Let me know, guys. Uh, this is Jordan Taylor with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Uh, I like that Nikki has a radio show now. It's kind of funny. Uh, and, you know, she, she gets to do whatever she wants, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, what do you think?